Hello everybody and I'm back today with Mix Daily Training. Let's have fun and let's go. Okay. Alright. Happy Tuesday everyone. How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. Hi Karmar, what's up? How are you? Rook e1, bishop d1. Nice idea. What do you do after rook e1? Hello, Michael, what's up, guys? b6, I guess. Like, oh, knight c4. Very brave from Bavani. But knight d7? Knight seven. Doesn't this just end the game on the spot? I mean, winning an exchange is an exchange, you know? Exchange is an exchange. Knight b6. Oh, wait, that's a piece. Well, this is even better. <laughs> this is even better. Okay. Yeah, and then just rook c4, queen c4. Both work. I'll take with the rook though. And I'm giving the pawn away. But this is still, yeah. Bavania resigned. So yes, I'll get Axel. Aha! If you ask and you shall receive, he's from Germany. So he doesn't analyze games, he just plays games and that's all. Non-stop. Cool. Here. It's very fast though. Yeah, of course, bishop d5 still would be some chances for Bavani. Uh, should I take a oh, queen c2? Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's go queen c2, I guess. Here. Okay. B4? Uh, I mean, actually it looks interesting, so you get like queen b3 and b5 ideas. So if it's good, but it looks exciting. Like queen b3, b5. Queen b3. A6, A4, okay, hey Cornelio, how are you doing guys, Karma, Michael and Cornelio, what's up? takes b5 if takes takes if takes 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 <laughs> a lot of takes uh, so I understand if you understood nothing no worries but yeah what will he go for it might be like rook a1 queen b7 something like that this perhaps this this it's interesting So he goes f4. Aha, I missed that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great move. What can I say? Very nice and strong move. I guess takes and then rookie one. If e5 I take, bishop d4 I take, take. Take, take. Yeah, let's go rook e1. I think this is fine. If like rook f8, queen c2 or something, I guess. 
or maybe even I have something else, I don't know. Okay, yeah, he goes through f8, queen c2, queen c2, he gets cb, and I cannot take cd. Uh huh. What if I go rook e2? Queen of two, king h1, and d5 hangs. Uh, I don't know. I want this first. Um, I'm tempted to take on e6 somewhat, but then also I'm not tempted. I just want to play rook e2. Yeah, okay, let's go rookie too. Let's not go for anything crazy. Okay. Rook f7. So I guess he wants to play rook uh, f8 and like triple up, I guess. Yeah, I think it's tripling already. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, F2 is an unpleasant weakness, fortunately. What if I go King H1 and just take E6? I'm not sure if it's a good move, but it looks interesting, at least from practical point of view. So Queen F2 will be without check. And he okay, goes King H8 as well. <laughs> uh huh. Takes, takes. Takes, 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 takes. Wait a second, but after this, this, don't I get rook f1? I think I do. Rook f1. And maybe I missed something, I'm not sure. It took without thinking. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, this guy sometimes... His playstyle is so confusing, he's like, not thinking at all. Uh, so it feels like he has everything covered. And then you, you think that he has everything covered, but then you check him as a blunder, so it's crazy. But... What is the compensation, is my question. Now he's thinking, so I <laughs> bet that's a good thing. And if he's a forced mate, or that's a bad uh, No, if that's a good thing and he's thinking about resigning, or is it a bad thing he's planning on how to force a mate? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, rook f2 is a good move, actually. This, 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 this. Ah, it feels like I give him a lot of counter play. What if I go rook e7 now? Rook e7, knight, say here, this, 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 this. Limit can't play. I'm not sure, Darko. I'm also thinking about how to do that. Oh, wait a second. Is this a forced win there? And what did they have in mind? I had something in mind. I oh, know I go no, but Queen T is rook of eight.
I gotta make a move. Here, I guess. In 85. So, thinking about that. Here. And if rupee to rookie 8. Maybe he missed that. My threat is rook g7, d6, queen d4. And if he takes. Oh, goodness gracious, what is this? I just find moves like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh huh. Here? Just go away, the knight is hanging. This I get rookie 8. Yeah, I'm gonna try that, hold on. Rookie 8 is a threat, knight is hanging. What does he do? I mean, okay, bishop of six, I'm, I'm happy to give, take, take my rook, I'll get your bishop, you have less pieces, you have less counterplay. GG, I guess, I don't know, I hope so. Yeah, but rook to e8, rook f8, bishop f8, and that's GG. Nice! Very nice. There's your Maxel 1702. He's from Germany. Good game. That was a good game from what it felt like. The concrete part was very nice, I think. King h2, rook e7. Alright, apparently it was second best move, but it's fine. Which we see in GG. Yeah, that was a good game. Neil, Neil, Neil! Ooh, okay, that's a great game. <laughs> Dude, thank you. Like, in a shit mistake, I just took that pawn, and then I get rook f1. Nice! What can I say? Pretty nice. Wait, what happened here? I resigned, I saw dirty fly. Yeah, I'm happy with the game. Pretty good, pretty good. What can I say? Woo! I had this was a little bit of a nightmare. A million moves. One of them is correct. That's the sound. Uh, I remember it was a ridiculous puzzle. I don't know, I'm gonna go for something I feel it's great. Do I simply take? Or do I go queen h1? Oh no, uh, queen h1. Intuition, thank you. As a queen d8, if he goes like this, I, I know here it, it doesn't work. I go king e3. I would never play king e3 to be honest. King e3. Oh, d1 knight. 
Oh, this is crazy. D1 Knight? Wow! <laughs> but okay, yeah, okay, the line I saw, fortunately the line I saw, that this is a d row. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Yeah, but knights on the promotion to a knight, that's crazy. Wow. Ridiculous. Yeah, but Tinafo just felt more human, you know. You are on the check, go as far away as you can, you know. Yeah, that is nice. But it feels very bad when somebody plays it against you, you know. You have a good position, boom, knight on the promotion, you're lost. But it's nice when you do it. Queen of four, I don't know, I'm gonna go for it. And yeah, of course, it was most likely this. Ne? No? Ah, I take h2, come on. This, this, yeah, that was a force puzzle. I completely missed queen h2. The queen is, hello, Mr. Queen, you, you should get trapped, right? Oh no. And then resign, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but the biggest meme is unhosanting when you are up 60 points of material. And when you unhosan, it's a stalemate. That's the biggest meme. That every chess player has to go for unpathon when they can. Wait, here, here, oops, I mean here, rook h4, queen f5, bishop h3. How is this just 21% pass rate? Like, what could even be another move? Knight h3 he simply takes, and yes, h4. f4 he takes his g3 check. Like, what, what does the movie continue about? <laughs> nice, darker, nice. Uh, queen c8 is forced, right? Queen c8, king g7, h6, king f6, queen h8, king g5. Help me. Wait. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, that hurts. That, this this hurts. It's a pain. I was like, wait, I simply win a queen, right? But it's a pain. <gasps> Crazy. A pain. Wow. I cannot tell it myself. Should I win here or should I tell me? That's actually a good question, I think. Can United make you open laugh? Yeah. It is true, Darko. Nice mindset. Need to make people smile. Do I play Rook F3 first? Um... No, I play here. For example, this, this, this. I know you give a queen to protect in this and g2 ains. Yeah, yeah, I see. <laughs> But Darko, what if you heard some knight? What if a knight is listening to the stream and then you heard its feelings? That is like, how? We have a family friendly channel. What if you heard Knight's feelings? Come on. Dark, I'm disappointed. So we don't. I know it's Queen C8. No, it's Rook F3. No? Why would you take G2? Why would you take Queen this? And now Rook F3. But why don't you make it play and I play Queen G2? What is the point of playing Queen G2 on the first move of the puzzle? Like, literally. 
than to chat now, yeah. I mean, thank you for five free reaching points. I mean, no, that doesn't count as a solved puzzle because it's a pending puzzle. I mean, takes. Yes. What do I do now? Boom. Bing, bang, bong, bong, bang, bong, bong. How? <coughs> Sorry. How does it? I don't know. Maybe team up to ninety one. King d two. Oh, I'm blind. Why do you think that queen c two is made here? I love my bishop is already on f five. Uh, okay. In castle, sometimes funny at times. Yeah, true. No, not troll people. It's not nice. True dark, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan of trolling people promoting seven queens when you can just mate in one for thirty moves. Uh I don't know. What's what is the point of that? Sure, if you're trolling a trolling map, I'm I'm all for that. If somebody trolled you like five times and then, then you troll him, I'm happy. Please do it. But doing that to innocent people, I'm not sure. Not a fan of that. True, but also like, yeah, yeah, okay. This will be a big fight between people. Yeah, because sure, but like, there is always some hope. There is always some hope. Like, what if, like, what if somebody forgets how to play chess? <laughs> what if in the middle of the game they just forget how the pieces move and then they sacrifice the queen? What if a fly flies near the eye and then they, their head slip and then they stop holding it and then they touch it but you're like no 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 touch rule you already were you didn't hold it no 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 never resign guys but imagine like it can happen wait what am I thinking about how about this thirty forty seven a little bit okay. That's a possible scenario, exactly, yeah! That's why never troll people who are not resigning. Maybe I'm just saying that because I'm the one of, that, of them, but... <coughs> <coughs> on my throat! <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> ah, okay, should be better. But yeah, I'm team never resign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I'm actually quite sad that this road issues happen very often to the green guys when I'm claiming my norm. But yeah, I mean you cannot do anything with nature, can you? you just gotta accept it. <laughs> Always when I claim a norm, the green guy's throat is. It just it just hurts, you know. Nene, I never resign. But what if, what if 
somebody runs into your room, you look at them, and then you stop holding the mouse or your hand if you, you're playing in a tournament hall, and then your hand slips. <laughs> And instead of mating in one, they go too far and they've sacked Blunder the Queen. What of throat issues, yeah. Unfortunately. Oh, wait a second! <gasps> no! I had something brilliant. Yeah, here. This and Ruka 4. Oh, got it good soon. Queen of Four is this. Ah. What? Oh my gosh. What is this puzzle? moves was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven moves. Okay. Okay. Something in the living room. Yeah, yeah, you see? And then somebody could mouse slip the queen. But also, you know, top GM sometimes forget how to mate with knight and bishop. What if they forget how to mate with three queens versus a bear king? You know, I mean, th th things happen in life. You know, so I had this puzzle again. It was a weird one, if I'm not mistaken. So... What do they think they already won the game and they're already thinking what they will do after this, e in this evening like what, where will they go out to eat at Tektra and then they just like forget everything and then they just make a move and it's a stalemate. Oh, yeah, I remember the idea, but yeah, I don't remember the puzzle. Uh, it's even push. What is it? Yeah, rg two is a human move, right? That's superhuman. Nah, yeah, that's your pass. Rook G2. Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess it's the solution. You can't say anything about that. Okay, Rook G5 feels like it makes some sense. King of 1, E3. Queen D3, Rook of 5, or something like that. But I clearly think it's... It's not Rook G5! <gasps> it's Rook of 5 It's Queen of 4. I'm blind today. Here, here. Here, here, here. Here, 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 here. Uh, what am I missing, may I ask, please? I have Bishop of Eight. I don't know, puzzles are confusing me on chess home. Please, please, please don't judge me. Like, some puzzles, your mind literally just open. like, I don't know, it leaves you because they are so crazy. But some puzzles are so easy. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Hold on. Check here, here. And these things? Oops, this. What am I missing? May I ask? I think nothing. How? How is this a 3400? How? I have so many. How did only two, one? Every one in five persons found the solution. Like, what else do you have? Queen f5 is hiding on c6. No way you can do anything. Queen g7 is hiding. Queen g7 is hiding. The other only viable check is rook e7. This. You understand that queen b5 is hiding. You can do nothing. You don't have more checks. You're threatening mate one, right? And also attacking the rook. I don't know so many questions with these puzzles. Seven correct and six fail. I'm fine with that, even though I lost straight and please get me out of here. And now we are playing a Komodo. White pieces, let's go. Knight of three. D4. Hey, Junji, thank you. How are you doing? C4. E3. Uh, yeah, he goes for this the E5 line, doesn't he? Yeah. He still goes for it. Hold on, but now I can take, right? Eh. Hey. And like bishop g4. You mean you don't like to play it as black or you don't like when black plays it against you when you're playing with white? I know it's confusing phrasing, but I think you should understand. Takes. Takes. If takes a check. Yeah, so he goes here. What if I do this? And that he takes a go bishop b5? Black, okay, and but okay, I can't play this, but then bishop b4 will be castleless as well. So I'm gonna take g takes f, I suppose. So I'm gonna go bishop b4, no, but this check, and he goes knight c6. Ah, 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 okay, queen e4 then, and then like bishop d2. Bishop d2. c3, this rook c1, is my king safe in the center, that's a question, or should I be, shall I be greedy and just take this pawn, or not, uh, I don't know, or should I go b take c, if this bishop c3, okay, I'm gonna, uh, uh, hold on, is my king gonna be just safe if I castle and play like f4? If yes, then it's great. Then I can play rook c1, castles, this, takes... Ah, but then he gets queen d7, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. Bishop c3 gets bishop f6 right here, right? I think so. Um, castle? <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna castle. Okay, he castles back. Ah, now if takes this, this. Bishop c3 though. And then if takes. Uh, if bishop f6, I go rook c1. Takes, takes. I think this is okay. Knight e5, I think bishop. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that actually. But take, 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 take. Can she agreement or no? Or what if I take here? This hangs, this hangs, bishop b7, rook b8, cb, bishop of 6 uh, no, I think I'm gonna simply take and take and take, ah, uh, a6, okay, but now I simply take, then bishop to a4, rook d2, rook a c yeah, I think this is fine, no? Bishop a4, okay. Here, 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 and the handshake agreement. Yeah, g5, nice move fixing my pawn. But 
I'm gonna bring the king over because why not? H3 here attacking the pawn with tempo. This king, this, this, this. This, 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 here okay let's go here um chicken back I guess on this scene I'm somewhat worried it's bishop h2 bishop g1 but if he doesn't go for it I'm fine um this, this, I should... Okay, let's go here, preparing this maneuver. Aha, uh -huh, he goes here. Oh, wait a second, he wants to create an outside passer. Ooh. Uh oh. Okay, this. So if G4, I think I'm... Oh, he goes for it. Uh oh. Takes. Aha. Uh -huh. Take skin f1, f4. And then I have passers as well, don't I? F4 and like push. Mm, I'm sure I go king g1 first. That f4 king h2 is with tempo already. But this bishop c3, something, bishop c3, king h2, bishop d2, this, yeah, I think it's fine. I don't think, I think it's a risk-free position. g4 definitely scared me a lot, but there's nothing to be scared about, I think, fortunately. This, 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 this he takes. What if I include a check? So king d6, I get king h2 with tempo. Yeah, I think it should king f6, f4, this, 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 king g3, h2, check, mm, nah, okay, but I think it's fine to include a check, it definitely shouldn't hurt, king e5, I get king h2 as well, and now f4, king h2, king h3, and draw, the famous handshake agreement, I guess, yeah, I can try king f2, but, and after h2, bishop d5, but I'm not sure, that if I'm good after a4, because if I play something like king e2, we get the b3 and an a3 and trousers. So I think king h2. No, it's not winning. And all this is a weakness. Mm, g5 check. So why not, I guess? Oh no. That looks fine. Um. Here, 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 here. He goes. I go, he goes here. Here. G4, king of three. Okay, I cannot lose that. So, and I'm gonna try that. Or should I? Because this, this, g6. And after g6, he gets bishop before bishop. No, I think I'm just gonna take simply. Don't do anything crazy, king g2, king f3, and do the draw, king f3, king e2, king e1. Here, and then whenever he plays b3, I will have bishop b3, this, a4, this, b3, bishop b3, and a draw. Ship here, this, so that I take, but then he gets a3 and I lose. That is, that is, guys, look at this. This is very nice. Bishop e8, he gets b3, and 
maybe I'm holding after a3, b2, bishop, g6, but still he can move his bishop, get king, b3, king, a3, win the pawn and push, and I think I'm losing. And if this b3 I take, he gets a3, and no matter what I do, a2 next move, and then a1. So bishop e8 loses. Or maybe it actually doesn't, because I, after b3 I go bishop f7, so it is bishop b3. If takes, I take, and if b2 I go bishop g6, bishop b1. Keep the bishop on this diagonal. But I just don't think it's necessary, because he will never get b3 anyways. Yeah, so I'm just going to go back and forth. And after 50 moves, it should be a draw. Yeah, Bridge was a good game, to be honest. Maybe I was better somewhere when when he had his knight pinned. But my king wasn't so safe, so I think I played it pretty well. Draw, yeah, journey. It is a draw indeed. And then if he goes here, I go king c1, king b1. And then I can play bishop e8 finally. So bishop e8 is forced to go here. If b3, I can simply take a4. And now here. Okay, let's speed the process up. Oh, draw! Let's go! Okay, so I'm pretty sure... Hi, Peter. I'm pretty sure it was a pretty good game, you know? Maybe not not 99 accuracy, but maybe 98.9? I don't know. Maybe 73, maybe 85, maybe 92. Oh, maybe 88 that don't line, as I said. <laughs> it was a 99, but it was 80... 98.9. So zero pretty moves for each of us, two great moves for him, zero for me, 58 best move for me, 56 for him, six excellent for me, seven for him, six good moves for each of us, five book moves for me, four for him, two inaccuracies for me, one for him, and zero mistakes, misses, and blunders for each of us. Okay, Bishop is your last book move. Ah, castle. Okay, castle was stronger. This, this is... Okay, rook a c1. Yeah, but I was a little worried of like 95. Yeah, okay, sure, you get bishop e2. That makes sense, and I'm fine. Uh, bishop c3, and then let's continue. I was surprised that you went d4. I thought you'd go like bishop f6, because then I took and then no risk position at all. And then shame on me, I didn't manage to realize point, point 0.4 advantage. Such a shame, guys. How? Couldn't I win this winning position? Point four advantage and I didn't win it. That is just terrible. And play like 30s, 50s. Okay. Yes, I wanted to check here. Bishop e8. B3. Yes, yes, yes. Then bishop g6. And I'm holding that. Okay. Not so nice game in his life opening. Nil, nil, nil for me and c1, one, one for him. So from the opening h3, how did we play last time though? Because I remember last time we got some mind, uh, mind blowing positions. Oh, it was the same position. Oh, uh, 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 we played f first ten moves the same. We played first twelve moves the same. I played rook eighty one only there. He played a six. So not knowing, let me play the literally the same moves. <laughs> Okay, I played rook c8. I really loved how I played b4 here. Gaining more space. Ideas like a4, b5, and break his pawn chain. Queen b3, b5, break his pawn chain. Because mm, this with f4, it's just boring. Really boring. Okay, f3 is cool. But e6, f3 gets knight g5. So I really loved how I played b4 here. I played this, I played queen b3. He played a6, a4, so now my idea is b5, knight g5 takes, takes, then b5, takes, takes, f4. I somewhat missed f4, but then I took, took, and I played rook f1. Huh? Do you mean Peter? Oh, my friend, I never talked to you outside of streaming, what? Uh, yeah, okay, let's, let's get back to game analysis. So I played rook f1. The idea is that if he takes the pawn, I take, take, and take, and then discover Arak on the queen, and the rook hangs. 
He played rook f8. I was thinking of playing rook to e6, but after queen f2, there is actually a force draw rook f3 and takes there is queen f3 this repetition and if king g1 just check 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 i lose my rook i'm losing and if i don't take and for example take it rook h3 yet another rook second queen of c draw so you decide not to risk it and play rook e2 you play rook f7 trying to chip it up not play king h1 also love this move now my idea is simply to take e6 oops after king h1 for example i don't know he does something h no h6 is a terrible waiting move but for example, I don't know, like rook b8, then I take, and if he takes, I take d5, and I'm much, much better. So, and he played king h8, which was an inaccuracy, he had to go for knight f6, and after rook e6, he takes f2, rook f1, queen h4, and equality, because he protected the pawn. But he played king h8, now he got rook e6, win the pawn, queen f2 was a mistake, he had to go for queen h4. So idea is to attack this pawn, and I can play f3, because rook f3, and then draw. But yeah, he played it the game, he played queen of 2 I played rook of 1 So if he moves the queens anywhere, I take the rook, and I'm a rook up. He played queen of 1 takes, takes, rook of 2 inaccuracy, stop, which I see, I go for knight of 6 Takes, take this, that would be much better, but... Yeah, I would be actually winning. But in this game, after rook of 2 I found a nice move, rook e7. I stopped for like 2 minutes, and the best I found was rook e7. Sure, maybe there was something more forcing, like takes, 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 and knight of 6 queen b7. Mm. But it gets some counterplay, you know. Bishop a3, g2 may hang somewhere. He takes the pawn. Sure, I'm completely winning, but it is not so clear as I want it to be. So in the game, I played rook e7. Uh, yes, yeah, so the idea if he goes knight f6, I simply take and then I go rook g7. Look at this. The idea is if he takes. I go queen b7, double attack on the king and on the rook. King somewhere, and I even get my bishop c1 check, then I take the rook, I'm a queen for a rook up, I'm completely winning. So knight of 6 wasn't working. He also d takes c, but then I think I was just planning to take, 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 and somehow win that. Okay, so if doesn't like it, but yeah, I'm not sure maybe if he would take, I would find my like queen e3. But in the game, I played knight c5, when I found a really nice move. I was for a second not sure what to do. Also. What's my idea? I know it was later. Knight c5. Stockfish says d takes c was stronger, but I don't know. Queen e3 with rook e8, sure. But like rook f8. Sure, I am. Right. Yeah, here I could have done that. Queen e3. And the same idea in the game. With straight of rook g7. It's unstoppable. I'm completely winning. If he takes with the bishop first, then I go queen e3, anyways. I can take, take, and then queen e5. Completely winning. So I play queen e3. My idea is just to take this and take that. In the game played knight d3, if you'd go rook c to f8, I would I was planning to take I uh, no, I was planning to take here, and after takes I take rook b2 give a check and then take the rook. And yeah, I'm completely winning. Uh, but in the game he played okay, so we suggest this, but then I could have simply taken rook c f8, rook e7, yeah, that's rook b7, I'm completely winning. Uh, and if he goes d f queen of two. In the game we played knight d3, and I found a really nice move bishop to a3. Uh, yeah, but queen d3 was winning, but I think it wasn't that clear. But now after bishop a3, my idea is to take d3. And if he moves the knight somewhere, the rook is falling. So in the game he took. If you go bishop of eight, I would simply just take, take, and take queen and a bishop for two rooks and he also has a weak king I'm completely winning so in the game he took d takes c played rook e8 if he takes rook e8 I take here this and then bishop h6 is a threat so I'm completely completely winning so he played rook f8 I took if he takes now I take if takes I take and I'm winning but he played bishop f8 and after rook c8 here's I know the name axel 1702 that was how I played nil 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 I'm very happy with this game I think I'm pl I played pretty pretty well he still he played 3 one, one as well so he played pretty well but i played even better yeah i'm not gonna go so in depth in chess based analysis in chess based analysis i'm gonna quickly scroll i guess but i really loved how i played it was like a perfect game 
So yes, this was also all in the previous game we played. This, this, this. B4 was first brilliant. I mean, not a brilliant move, but a nice move. This idea of like A4, Queen, B3, B5. So this to hang. Love this idea. E6, Queen, B3. Continuing the idea. A6, A4, Knight, G5. This, this. Continuing the idea. This, this. F4 takes, takes Rook E1. Rook F8, Rook E2 playing like Stockfish, Rook F7, and yeah, I was thinking about G3, I played King H1, okay, Stockfish doesn't love the move, okay, yeah, very understandable, slight inaccuracy, I should have learned Rook D, D2, it says, and after Rook C, I figure Queen D1, the, the pawn hangs, and if takes, 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 I take, I play Queen D3, attacking both the weaknesses, and I'm slightly better. Okay, King H8 in the game was a mistake, he had to go for Knight to F6, and then after Rook to E6, go Queen F2, and Rook F1, Queen H4, B takes C, B takes C, with equality. In the game was Rook F6 and Queen F2 was yet another big mistake, he had, I th yeah, he I think completely missed Rook F1, he had to go for Queen H4, Attacking like that and CD take take uh, BC nice idea that after B takes C Which is a mistake he adds Queen G3 Attacking this and after Rook G1 he gets Knight F6 Look at this if I do something the threat is Knight G4 And then Queen H2 and if I take Queen H4 So the only move for me is Rook F6 this this it's unclear, it's equal, but it's crazy. So yeah, here we go for queen h4, but bc was a mistake for me. I had to play rook e2, very nice move, trading the rook off, takes, takes, c takes b, uh, d5, and I am much better. I have a strong pawn, he will have a weak king, this pawn is weakness and I'm better, we can, we can, I'm better. This, 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 king h2, rook e7, love the move as well, nice e5, queen e3, brilliant, I think. This and a very great move. Bishop a3. And this, this, this. And one name Axel 1702. He's from Germany. Good game. So, yeah, that's about it for today. I think it was a great stream. I think it was a great stream. Okay, maybe except puzzle solving. But, like, I solved seven correct, three, three wrong. So, like, even the puzzle solving was good. It was just a little. I lost straight, and that's the only thing which wasn't great. But Gaming Life Opening was great, and Gaming is Commodity was great as well. So, <laughs> a little bit was about to end it, unfortunately. So, thank you so, so much, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to join the Discord to miss out on notifications. It's very important. So, yeah, join it. Take care, everybody, by Tony Journal, by Karma, by Peter, by Manus, by Johnny D, by Darko, by... by... Scorelli, I think, no, Cornelio and Michael J.S. Dudikov and everybody who was here. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, everybody, and bye-bye.